On July 2nd, a press conference was held here at the Langley Event Center in order to reintroduce professional lacrosse back to the province of British Columbia and welcome the newest NLL franchise, the Vancouver Stealth. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jared Harmon. I'm the Director of Business Development here at the Langley Event Center. On behalf of the facility, uh, myself and my colleague Jamie Rennie, the Director of Facility Operations, I'd like to officially welcome the Vancouver Stealth to the Langley Event Center and to the province of British Columbia. This is a historic and exciting day for the National Lacrosse League. Uh, the NLL is back in British Columbia. It's extremely uh, a proud day today to uh, to welcome the Vancouver Stealth to the Langley Event Center and to the Township of Langley. We are proud to uh, host uh, the Vancouver Stealth. I know the Vancouver Stealth are, are going to find a, a welcoming home here in the Township of Langley, and it's going to be a benefit to the entire region uh, throughout the Vancouver, uh, Metro Vancouver area, and also all the way up Abbotsford, Chilliwack, and I know our neighbors to the south of the border who are, who are uh, great fans of the Stealth will be uh, coming up to visit us on those uh, game nights, and we certainly welcome you, and we wish the Stealth all the success and, uh, and good How luck. How long Thank has this been in the works to come to Langley? Well, Langley, you know, we had the first preseason game here in December of 2011, and it was sold out between the Stealth and the Rock, and that really created momentum for a dialogue, and uh, which really culminated into t today. Um, you know, the Stealth uh, were, were, you know, gave it their best effort to make it work in, in Everett. Um, we have very passionate fans there in Everett. There just weren't enough of them. And they really weren't drawing enough of the fans from uh, Metro Seattle up to Everett that we had all hoped they would. Um, but there, there were a significant number of fans coming down from BC during the, the, the Stealth's four years there. And uh, given the fact that they already had a lot of fans here and having that championship game here with the great crowd that we had, I think really was probably the tipping point for the organization to make, make the move. How does it feel to complete the deal, come to Langley? It feels great. Uh, I've made no secret that coming to uh, Vancouver has been our number one expansion target market. And um, while it's not an expansion team, uh, we we are finally back here, and uh, it it feels great. And it and it also um, stabilizes a franchise which was you know not performing well in Everett, and allows the. To, to really solve a problem and not beyond solve a problem but have a great asset and having the Vancouver market force as well. And uh, with the Vancouver Ravens, were you a part of that when they were here? Well, I was in the league at the time. Um, the Ravens were um, had done some great things creatively and marketing wise. The challenge with the Ravens is they were, uh, you know, simply their ownership group wasn't that well capitalized and they had some, some uh, owners who had pulled out from the original ownership group and that caused the, the remaining owners to really be chasing their own tail for their entire existence. And it was unfortunate because they did a lot of great things in, in grassroots and marketing. Uh, there's, but the ownership here that we have with the Stealth is uh, and Denise Watkins and Bill Watkins are tremendous, they're world class. And um, I mean, if, these, if, the, if the Watkins had owned the Ravens, uh, the Ravens still be playing. Work with the minor leagues and as well with the BCLA. Can you talk a bit more about that? I think. Well, we know that um, if, if we're going to be the marquee pro franchise and and uh, you know we'll we'll be the face of the game in the in the Lower Mainland and and really in the province of British Columbia now with uh, with a professional team of the National Lacrosse League. And I, I really think it's um, incumbent upon us to to um, make sure that we reach down in the community and, and help to uh, to grow the the game in, in the minor with our minor associations and the BCLA. So we, we expect to work uh, hand in hand with them to make sure that um, we develop a strong partnership with them and, and do what we can to help uh, grow the game in terms of um, providing assistance, in terms of clinics and coaching and um, any, anything we can do. You know, we've been successful with that. We were in, in uh, Everett uh, with our Junior Stealth Academies and uh, our junior cell teams and and uh, we, we think we want to you know carry on doing as much as we can to help grow the game and, you know that's it's it, it starts at the grassroots level and and uh, we really think it's um, you know it, we, we think it's our, our duty to do as much as we can to help that. So Vancouver once again and the differences between having the Vancouver Ravens now having a more local team uh, the Vancouver South. Well, I think it's great. Uh, you know, the Vancouver Ravens, uh, great team, played in uh, played Vancouver. But what I think the success for the Vancouver Stealth will be, is they're, they're playing in a stadium that seats about 5,500 people. They're going to sell it out, uh, and and it's better to have a, a stadium that's full 
than a stadium that's not full. And I think that's where the success will be. It's going to create such an energy in the township of Langley and also in the entire region. Uh, the fan base will continue to grow. It, this, is, uh, this is a perfect place for them. And can you talk a bit about what uh, Chris, head coach uh, Chris Hall also talked about, growing the game in the grassroots now that they have a yeah. professional team. It's kind of inclining the younger uh, generation to want to continue playing lacrosse to reach the pro levels and play in their hometown. Oh, definitely. Uh, whenever you can have this kind of exposure, a National League team in a local community, uh, you know, the young kids are going to look up to it. They're, they're going to see the, the games. It's, it's, the prices are very reasonable. You can bring a family here, and, and it's going to grow the sport. And, and we saw that with the Olympics, how a lot of sports just, just uh, grew because because uh, the, when the Olympics came to town and, and the young kids saw that, they, uh, they got involved in all these variety of sports. And lacrosse will do the same thing. I think it's really going to grow. When the 2014 NLL season begins this coming January, the province of British Columbia will have its first professional lacrosse team in 10 years. And the Langley Event Center, which holds 5,500 people, is expected to be packed every single night for the Vancouver South. For Van City Sports Blog, I'm Nick Bazran.